What's up, everybody? I'm rich. Let's go buy stuff. Okay, so. Yes, Speedy. I hear you. Yes, you're a sweet boy. All right. So. Hmm. I want to get this. Not yet. That is one of my purchases, but right now... Let me look at the historic card cup. Quick. Boy! You better behave your little self. Okay, so 246 horsepower. What are you looking at? Oh my gosh, you're freaking waiting. God, Lord. Let's see, Lancia. That's Italian, I forgot. Lancia. Lancia, there it is. Tunes. See, there's the Stratos, and I got it over here. Let's see, is there a racing mod? Yes, there is, and it makes it look freaking awesome, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So we need, what, 249 horsepower. Alright, muffler first. Bones. Done. This thing should take a turbo. And I hope it does. It does! Alright, well... Can I already get an intercooler? No. Alright. You know what? We'll go ahead and do this, this, the Turbo 1 because it's dirt cheap. No. Oh, jeez. I've already forgotten what I should be looking for. Two forty six. Okay, okay. I thought that's what it was. I wanted to make sure. So we won't do any turbos. We'll get everything but the turbo. So computer. Computer. Warp one. Engage. Alright. Yeah, I am gonna tune the heck out of this car. Alright, we can do an engine displacement. Port and polish. Okay, that's enough horsepower for this for now. Can I do it in iTunes? Usually any car can do this crap. 244. And sure. Why not? I do want to upgrade the bejesus out of this car, so... Brakes... Yeah, sure, get some new brakes. Because I may use it for some rally cross, I don't know. But, uh, racing slicks. Let's get some soft. I just want to make sure these next couple races go by really, really fast. Mission. Let's go full racing on this. <sighs> I don't want to risk having another fluke like what happened to that Mustang. These older cars, you gotta watch it because that final gear can be just junk on them. Oh, that's right, this wouldn't have that. Okay. 1.5, we'll just slip. left weight reduction these you have to do individually otherwise I'll let you buy the next one so I don't know if I went over that before there we go with all that uh, racing mods you know what nah that's too much money that's yeah. uh, what I will do is actually go ahead and buy this even though I should have done it in the first place so I'll waste a little money but meh you know meh all right, now, one quick thing. And we'll do a machine test, 1,000 meters. I just want to make sure uh, I got the handling right, and the harder the gearing right. Okay, so. Ride height. Oh, that is way too high. Slam it. What we're doing that is way too high. Can I do anything with downforce? Nope, okay. Not a lot of downforce, but I want to check the top speed. Oh, that car sounds sick. How are we doing? It's not too bad. We should have six gears. not have six gears. 
Okay. Exit. Exit. Uh, settings. Uh, I like the gearing setup, so we're gonna go. Let's go higher. I want to go up to four. Let's go up. Yeah. I'm way off on this. Uh, forgive me. It has been so long since I've tuned a car. I can't remember. I know higher gears mean more speed. And I like how the gears are already set up. It's got a power band on it. I'm just going to fool around the final gear. Yeah, I like my power bands already. So I'm going to leave those alone. Okay, I went the wrong way. Yep, I went the wrong way. Okay. Let's knock it down to about a 3.6 and see what happens. That's good. Again! It's lovely to the engines at low RPMs. It's a good growl to it, too. Better. But I want this thing to be able to do a little more than that. So let's knock it down to about 3.4 and it should be good and we'll leave it at that for now. Uh. Okay, stop wasting my time, disc. Read it. So anyways, I apologize for any days that go by with me derping up uh, a video and one doesn't come out. It's more my fault than anything. I don't really label my videos when I record them. I just kind of wing it when I upload. Um, that'll be good right there. Um... So if there's ever a day that goes by that a you know, video doesn't get uploaded, it's not that I didn't want to upload one. I'll say and leave a comment on my channel. It's just a fall asleep uh, <laughs> in my chair or something. And I wake up and I'm like, oh crap, I'm going to upload a video, and I just click something and go. So it's... I'm not trying to uh, not do daily content. Just My brain has been shot from work here lately. Like... Uh, my work nowadays just consists of 100% brain power. And, uh, it's been turning my brain to mush here a little bit. Not as much as I thought it would, but it's a different kind of stress. And it's it's one I know how to deal with. It's like you're going back in school for the most part. It's like eight hours straight of the same freaking work. Oh my gosh! Okay, I have no idea how this car is going to handle because it is a sports car first, and a rally car second. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do that again. Okay, well it being slammed is going to slide, but it ain't going to have any body roll, so the grip is going to be phenomenal! Oh dear! But yeah, the Lancia Stratos. Let's go back to that. I've heard this car has one of the worst driving positions ever made in... Oh jeez, i got to put that front heads back up. <laughs> this thing is just slamming around. Uh, it had one of the worst driving positions ever designed. You literally sat facing to the right in the car because the pedals were so far to the right and there wasn't enough room for your feet. It was just, it was ridiculous. I don't have any bumps, this thing handles freaking phenomenal. Like, dang your racing car status, but I should have not lowered it as much as I did. Rip this thing is. This is unreal. Wait till I put a turbo on this thing. <laughs> I would have loved.
to have done this with the, Jeep, the Ford GT40, but... Cat, you'll get out of that. Oh, my lord. Guys, if I do another video with that thing start button doing that crap, please message me and tell me and remind me and just completely abuse my message box on my channel. Tell me fix the turn start button. Yeah, I gotta raise this car back up. It's just, it's all over the dang place to get bumps. I always remember slamming cars was a good idea of it. Not this thing. I think they only have some wider tires on for that rally cross. The engine on this thing just sounds dirty. It sounds so good. Whoa! Yep, definitely gonna go back in the settings. stuff with this yet. Well, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I need to look to see what that consists of first before I start going, hey, there's no new stuff. That should get me some old cars. Roly poly kitty. He's rolling around, meowing at me, jeez. Alright. Um, Mid-engine. Okay, 345. Alright, we're not worried about that. I think it was 295 is the next one on this. Yeah, alright, let's go do some major, major upgrades. Two ninety five, huh? Child's play. Alright, let's get stage one turbo. Bam! Any intercooler? Huh. Let me do that. Okay. So we're at 275. That'll work. Historic. Let's go. Let's go. Get it on. <laughs> Ride height. Um. Oh, it was back at what? One. Let's do. Do 103 at the front and rear. Spring rate. It's actually pretty soft. Go down to 4.0 on that. Because, I, like I said, I like where the power band is. It's right there at that spot I need it for the turbos. Yeah, my turbo booster is in the back. Huge. No big deal, but this thing's going to be freaking stupid fast now. Because, actually, with a stage one turbo, you don't get as much turbo lag. And you will run lower RPMs and have better performance on that. So, that's always really cool. Oh yeah, I got a little ride height on it now. It's not dragging the car across the ground. I honestly think you're going to catch me with that thing. Whatever that thing is. Whatever. Oh, it's a 4 GT. Yeah, you're going to catch me. Oh dear, dear, that's a GT40. Get back here. No, nine, I will not be defeated by this car. Oh, the Ford GT is so good. Let's go. Game on the straights, but it's just a little better than me in the corners. Because he's got better downforce to that. Yeah, I mean, both these cars are flying, or like just driving darts, but. Yeah, the car bottoms out, it just flings it to the side. Come on, I'm not gonna get beaten by this thing. I did not pump all this money into this free car. To be beaten now. Oh no. No, I'm losing ground. Oh jeez, 
you gotta be freaking kidding me. Come on, baby. You know what's something caution of the wind. T-boning. There we go, I help you catch up. In. Back up. Oh shoot. No, 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 nine, nine! Nine! That was my last chance. Son of a biscuit. Freaking bull crap. A load of garbage. That doesn't make any kind of sense. So there's one car usually that will just absolutely wipe the floor with you, and there it is. I took off faster than him. I got in the lead first, and he just goes right on by me and beats me. And see, now it's not here anymore. Oh, yeah, it is. There's a white one. Dang it! Go away! Hey, look at this. Just barrel right past him. And now he's catching up to me already. Good freaking lord, that car. I mean, I know it's one of the greatest cars ever built, but jeez. This car's weight distribution when I hit the gas is hauling me back. him off. Barely. Whoa. You don't. You freaking don't. Ah, oh, dang it, I've slowed down too much. Curse you, car! This craptastic track. How did he not go flying into the wall? I hit that sucker to 150 miles an hour. Alright, let's go. Oh, stop that. Dang it! Why is it doing that? So freaking loose. And it's tight on it's tight on exit, loose entering, and it's I can't do it. I can't do it with that car. That's freaking stupid. Oh my kid. I can do this. I can do this. It's freaking me. Okay. What? I got harder suspension, which means this car ain't gonna bottom out. Observe. And now there's no GT40. There's just a Lancia Delta. I can deal with that. So I do all those extra. I'm like, God dang, I'm gonna outhandle that car like nothing. Now look, get an easy, God dang race. 
And I thought the Ford GT had over 300 horsepower anyways. So what the heck is it doing in this race? Yeah, the stiffer suspension will prevent the car from sliding around so much. Prevent body roll. Keep the tires nice and level on the ground. And prevent it bottoming out. Yeah, I'm just getting a bad draw. I'm gonna look at the Ford GT's horsepower, and I swear upon everything, if it's over 300, I'm gonna go shenanigans. Wasting all our frickin' time. I mean, it's only 20 horsepower off, that's just still been very competitive. And I was, but I couldn't match its handling, so it was just frickin' garbage. But now, as you can see, I have fixed the handling of this car, and it handles much better. No sliding around whatsoever. Oh, this thing handles so good now. Oh, this thing is perfect. I got it. Perfect! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Oh, 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 I still did it. I still did it! But that was my fault that time. I didn't enter the corner right. But it's definitely handling a whole lot better. It's, it's got a lot more grip now. A lot more grip. Oh, look at all that grip. And I didn't bottom out either. Hey guys, we actually made some progress in the video. What the frick do? I'm weaving all over the track like a freaking drone. Yeah, this car is done. I got it. I got the handling. Now all I gotta do is get the horsepower in it for the next historic race. We are good to go. Jeez. Took you long enough, you piece of crap, Lancia! What a freaking Ford GT. Good lord. I know there's actually a racing GT with the golf colors, or you just have to buy it and then you can get the golf colors. I thought you could win one. Okay. New car! Ba -da -ba. Three ninety four. Three ninety four. Let's see. He's got most everything done on this car. Turbo. Turbo kit. Oh, we can do up to a stage three. So let's do it. Can I do an intercooler? Still can't do the intercooler. Okay. Well, we're good. We're good. This will do us. Special event. Finish up the historic cup. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna look at the Ford GT. Remind me, guys. Remind me. I'm gonna do it in this video. Oh god, I got the Cobra race car out here. Oh jeez. Not Alonzia. It won't be near as good. Turbo away! Two laps of Grindelwald against this thing. Now that car does not sound like that. I will buy that car just to show off its freaking uh, sound effect. It is freaking disgust. It'll make you have a freaking orgasm. It sounds so good. That is not what that car sounds like. I 
I ran that car more than the actual 427 Cobra, mainly because of the sound effects it makes. The, the, the engine noise that comes off that thing is just, it's unreal. Okay, not bad. Of course, they're going to chicane it better than me. Yeah, this is my rally car. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know what car means when it's not a rally car. I cut it out. No. Thankfully, I got this thing up straight. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of money to buy that rally car one day, which also helped me finish with the 80s class. Woo! Nine! I will not have this! Oh, bull crap, the car just freaking gets sucked over the wall. Oh, dang it! No, this freaking horse crap! Horse maneuver! Not have this! There we go, much better. Car to go. Come on. Come on, baby. Go, 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 go. He's gonna break up here. He's gonna break up here. He didn't break up here. You've gotta be freaking kidding me. I screw up one corner and lose. You freaking game! One screw up. Oh my gosh, I just, I want to just finish something this video. Jaguar E-Type. Am I going to win one of those? Because I'd really like to have one of those. What's funny is that I bet you in most of this historic stuff here, there ain't going to be one Japanese car. Because old Japanese cars are junk. Now, they got a couple good ones. The 2000 GTs are really good. The Toyota 2000 GT. I'll admit, it's a Toyota. And it's actually not a bad little race car. A little sports car. But they, it's like one of the first they ever kind of made. That's good. But in terms of just performance, no. They don't have any. Hold on to her car, okay. Well, I don't know how to drive a car on the track, and they're like, "Go win this race!" Should have took the second place. Just got money out of it, but eh. I'm not losing races because I'm not driving cars yet. Not that I can't drive them. It's not one of their whole aspects of it. Ooh, that was cool. I didn't even touch that wall. Drifted it. <laughs> this car does like to drift. Oh, until you do that. Will not have this happen again. Nine! You just bust him right along in this thing and then just sucked into the track and spins out. I 
actually like that turn right there. I don't know why. It's, it's simple. It's like there's no markers. There's nothing. There's no wall on either side of it. There's no rumble strip. You just let off it. Let the car turn and throw the corner. Yeah, this car's still not the best handling. I got it really good, but that bothered me out of crap. It's getting on my last nerves. This is not my rally car. I thought about using it, but no. Oh, scumbag. I'll try to do it again. I'm not going to have it this time now. Oh man, that cover is flying. I got it. Whew. Yeah, that is not what that car sounds like. Alright, historic cup. Done. Yeah, that's a freaking... I had open an E-type Jag. I didn't even look at the stats on the thing. God dang. My money. Alright. We're going to take a little extra time. We're going to go over these cars quick. And then I'm going to call it a video. Come on. Load it up. There we go. Go home. You've... Got to be kidding me. Why did I win? Is this the same freaking car? It's the same freaking. I just won the same car again. Get out of my freaking garage, you stupid. God damn it. Okay, Lancia Europa. That's a cool little car. The Europa was originally designed for export to continental Europe and used the engine and gearbox of the Renault 16 in order to give equivalent performance to the Elan, but at a lower price. Like the Elan, Europa had a backbone frame and fiberglass bodywork, but it was even smaller and lighter and mid-engined. The drivetrain from the front-wheel drive Renault was simply turned around. The four-cylinder engine's 82 horsepower wasn't much, but a curb weight around 1,350 pounds meant there wasn't much car to push around. The lightweight and cleverly designed fully independent suspension also contributed to the Europa's excellent handling abilities. Early Europas had interesting styling. The Europa was very clean aerodynamically, but high rear quarter panels that contributed to this did not contribute well to visibility. Access was another problem. Only over Anyone over 5 foot 8 was ill-advised to try. <laughs> the seats reclined almost as radically as those in Lotus racing cars at the time. The pedals and steering, not the seats, were adjustable. Later Europas had cut down rear panels for better visibility, adjustable seats, and most importantly, after 1971, the twin cam 1.6 liter engine used in other Lotuses. The 113 horsepower from this engine was a great leap forward. The Lotus Europa was one of the last minimalist sports cars. It emphasized performance over comfort and is still an excellent car for a twisting road. Yes. And yet this car has 125 horsepower. Explain that to me, game. Cool car, though. XYR 99. Ew, another Celica. This is actually the new Celicas that did come out. The XYR to it is light sports concept car. Right, attracted much attention when it was unveiled at the Detroit Auto Show in January '99. Its styling was highly aggressive for Toyota. The seventh-generation Celica, based on the XYR, was released to the public in September of that year. The XYR features a front bumper and tail, GT-like rear wing. Oh, a front bumper and tall GT rear-like wing, not used in other Celicas, but otherwise uses the same components as other Celicas. The eye-catching, cutting-edge styling of the XYR and other new Celicas was crafted by Toyota's Calti Design Center in Southern California. It is shorter than its predecessors, even though the wheelbase is longer. The handling has improved greatly over that of the previous Celica. The engine houses housed in the short, sharply angled nose of the model 2ZZGE, which Yamaha created by modifying the 1ZZ engine developed for the Vista giving it heads equipped with a WTLI variable valve timing and lift system. This 1.8 liter engine delivers 180 horsepower at 7600 RPM with 133 foot-pounds of torque at 6800 RPM. 
yet it weighs 60 pounds less than the 1ZZ. A 6-speed manual transmission keeps the engine in its sweet spot. It has reasonable low-end and mid-range power, mid power, but really screams when the cam change takes place at 6,000 RPM. Also available in the 1.8 liter model 1ZZ FE. Oh, is the 1.8 liter, which generates 140 pounds, for, uh, bleh, 140 horsepower and 125 foot-pounds of torque. Combined with a 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic transmission. On all, front strut suspension is paired with double wishbone rear suspension. The 2,500-pound weight is also a key point and helps provide handling approaching that of the Integra R. Yet it doesn't because it's a Toyota and they don't know how to make a car turn. I won. Okay. I got one historic car from the historic cup. Now I gotta go yell at Ford. Freaking bullcrap GT. Where's that freaking horsepower in that car? Really? You put that in a 294 horsepower? Oh my gosh. See, I was getting screwed. See, everybody? Right there. Cheating game.